Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hi, Brian. Thank you for joining us on the Valder BB Show. Tell me about luxury travel at bargain prices. That's intriguing by itself. Yes, yeah, so it's all about maximizing those points you get on credit cards and airline miles. You know, a lot of people don't pay attention to them, but they can be extremely valuable if you know how to get the most value out of them. So I've got, I've got a lot of tips to share uh, uh, to get the most value out of those points. Okay, give me some values, because it's kind of a hassle to redeem the points, and sometimes, sometimes people overlook them. Exactly. So the airlines sometimes don't make it easy, but when you know how to, how to beat them, you can actually, actually get a ton of value. So my first tip is understand airline partners, right? So uh, most airlines have either an alliance or other airline partners, and often their partners have the very lowest level. So, um, but just understand that going to an airline website sometimes you're not gonna see 100% of availability. So sometimes it makes sense to pick up the phone and call and specifically ask nicely uh, to the phone rep uh, to check partner award availability on the routes you're trying to fly. Okay, great. So we got summer coming up. We're in spring break right now. Where, what's, what do we, how can we go into summer smarter? So, you know, if you're a procrastinator like me, it's not even too late to go on spring break with your miles and points. You know, airlines these days are holding more and more award availability back until closer to departure. So even if it's the week of uh, travel and you don't have anything booked, always check to use your frequent flyer miles because they open up a ton of availability. Now, there are some programs, uh, if you don't want to, like jumping through all those hoops or having to call, uh, JetBlue, for example, allows you to redeem points for pretty much any seat that they're selling. So if you want to have the flexibility to book any flight or you know, book those nonstops, especially if you've got small kids, programs like JetBlue might make the most sense. All right. I want to talk about the big one. How do you get cash back from these things that we're involved in? Yeah, so you know, cash back these days, you should at least be looking at getting 1.5% cash back on everything you spend. Some credit cards will actually give you up to 2%. Um, you know, if you're a traveler, there are cards like the Barclay Card Arrival that'll get you just over 2% back when you redeem for travel. And you can use those miles on any airline and even things like Uber and Airbnbs. How do you not have the credit card fees? That's what stops most of us. Yeah, so you know, sometimes it makes sense to pay a, a fee if you're going to get more value out of it. For example, uh, JetBlue has a new Barclay Card uh, Plus, uh, JetBlue Plus card. It's $99 a year but you get free check bags and bonus points and you earn six JetBlue, dollars, uh, or JetBlue points per dollar spent. So if you fly JetBlue even a couple times a year, you can get way more than that in value. But you're right, you know, sometimes for, for a lot of people, having a card with no annual fee does make sense um, and, and there are plenty of cards out there that, that offer value with no annual fee. Brian Kelly is famous for being the points guy. Brian, where would you send my audience online so that they can find out how to be more savvy in travel. So every day we give money-saving travel tips at thepointsguide.com. And for more information on those Barclay Card uh, products we talked about, barclaycardus.com. Well, Brian, I've read you in the LA Times and New York Times, and now you're on the Valder BB Show. You've made my day. Thanks for having me, and safe travels. Thank you.